Emery Walker's house is a unique time capsule, perfectly preserved arts and crafts interior. Our first exhibition this year is going to be a mudlarking exhibition and some of the treasures that have been found just outside our property are in the nearby Thames here include specimens of the dove's type. Uh, the Dove's Type was um, created by Emery Walker and his co-founder Cobden Sanderson for the Dove's Press. And there's a really interesting story behind it in that when Cobden Sanderson and Emery Walker fell out, uh, their partnership was dissolved. Cobden Sanderson decided to dispose of the Dove's Type. He actually took the type itself uh, and the other equipment of the Dove's Press and actually went to Hamilton Smith Bridge, the nearby bridge, and actually threw it over into the Thames and said, and later on in a letter to the Times, that he had bequeathed it to the Thames. So this is the first time ever that the Doves type is on public display, and we're very excited that over 500 pieces are now on display within this uh, case here. And uh, it's unusual because we actually have found almost the entire alphabet, the lowercase alphabet. And you can see this is the letter W, which is an uppercase letter. And this was all thrown into the river during over 170 trips down to the River Thames, Hammersmith Bridge. It was all disposed of, discarded um, between 1916 and 1917. And many notable people lived here in the area. Three doors along we had Edward Johnston um, who did the glorious initial letter I uh, in the Dove's Bible. Uh, we have Emery Walker at number seven who we, we know about. Uh, next door to him at number eight was Mae Morris, William Morris's younger daughter who was a very talented embroiderer. Uh, we also have F.G. Stevens, a member of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, uh, further along the terrace. And then further along still, W.A.S. Benson designed the most amazingly beautiful light fittings and worked closely with William Morris and sold his uh, light fittings with Morris and Company. So here we are at 26 Upper Mall, and this is the home of William Morris. Uh, William Morris lived here at Kelmscott House for the last 18 years of his life. William Morris was a designer, artist, socialist, printer and lecturer and was great friends with uh, Emery Walker who lived nearby. In fact, William Morris said a day wasn't complete without the sight of his great friend Walker. Okay, so here we are on the Thames Riverside and it was here where Cobden Sanderson actually threw away the Doves type into the river. So on many evenings Cobden Sanderson actually had the Doves type. Um, so we've read that sometimes it was actually in his pockets and sometimes there were packages of this. He did his nightly visits along the riverside up to Hammersmith Bridge and actually threw the Doves type into the river. So it wasn't just one visit, this was many many visits to actually dispose of around a tonne of type. So it was quite an undertaking for him. At one point, he was disturbed by a policeman and thought he was going to get caught. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite a deliberate task to actually do this over all those many, many evenings. But it's very exciting because all of this was recovered over the past uh, 10 years under Hammersmith Bridge. And it's the first time since it was uh, bequeathed to its watery grave that it's on public display.